Dear students, good morning, all of you. So today, let me demonstrate to you one fundamental principle in physics called principle of conservation of angular momentum. So that conservation principle does apply to all the bodies which are continuously rotating. In fact, a body can continuously rotate only when its angular momentum is conserved. So let us now practically go to observe this conservation of angular momentum. Before I go to do that, let me mathematically tell you how to measure angular momentum. Angular momentum basically is the product of moment of inertia I and angular velocity omega. Whenever L remains conserved, when no external torque acts on a rotating body, then I into omega equal to constant. That means moment of inertia I and angular velocity omega are in inverse variation with each other. When I is increasing, omega will decrease. When I is decreasing, omega will increase. Thereby, angular momentum remains conserved. Hope this mathematical interpretation of how I am going to verify the conservation mechanism is clear. I omega equal to constant. That means when moment of inertia is increasing, angular velocity decreases. When moment of inertia decreases, angular velocity increases. On the whole, I into omega will remain constant. So this is conservation of angular momentum. Let us now practically verify the conservation principle. Here before us we have a device or an arrangement which is called as turn table. This turn table is a practical demonstration of conservation of angular momentum. Let us see how I go to verify that. Right? Look here boys. I am getting on to the turn table. The turn table has a circular frame has a circular frame which is operated by a wheel and axle arrangement under it, right? Now, as I told you, for conserving angular momentum in the case of a rotating body, I into omega equal to constant, right? That means, moment of inertia is more, angular velocity will be less. So, how do I increase moment of inertia? Let us define moment of inertia now. It is the product of mass of the body with the square of the distance, right? Now when I stretch my arms, look at the tip of my hand here, it is far away from the axis. My axis passes through my center, so from the axis the body is distributed here far away. So distance is more, when distance is more, moment of inertia will be more. When I bring my arms closer, closer to the chest, that is they are very closer to the axis. So distance R value is decreased, thereby moment of inertia has been decreased. Now let us see by increasing and by decreasing moment of inertia, how angular velocity omega does vary, right? So let me now start the experiment. Look here dear boys, I am trying to rotate, right? Please stand away from my arm distance, keep yourself off from the arm distance, right? Now look here, I try to rotate myself, I am rotating, right? First, when I bring my arms closer, I feel, even you can observe that the angular speed with which I am rotating is increased. The speed of rotation is increased. The same I, when I stretch my arms, look at it. I am trying to come, come to halt and I had now come to rest. Indicating that by stretching the arms, moment of inertia is increased. Therefore, angular velocity will decrease. By bringing the arms closer, moment of inertia will decrease. Hence, angular speed or speed of rotation gradually increases. Thereby, conserving angular momentum. So this is the practical approach of how we go to verify conservation of angular momentum. Hope this is clear, my dear boys. Yes, right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Right, thank you. Yeah, now one of you, one of you hope, having followed how I had practically performed, right, conservation of angular momentum, please, one of you can come into the turn, onto the turntable and do the same so that you can come to conclude how I and Omega are varying to conserve angular momentum. Please, one of you, please get into the turn, get onto the turntable, get inside, please bolt it. Yeah, you understood now? First, rotate yourselves, 
right when you feel that it is going faster you are unable to balance stretch your arms you will come to halt right when you are balanced bring your arms closer then you keep on rotating at a higher speed right come on please yeah. stretch your arms when you feel you are unbalanced right so what did you observe when you stretch your arms what did happen there the speed of rotation got decreased when you brought your arms closer the speed of rotation increased right on the whole i into omega is remaining constant that means angular momentum is conserved okay come is that clear yes sir. right